Hey, what's up with a happy Roblox family? So happy, so, so, so happy. With mom, dad, Daisy, Molly, and the baby. Cute baby. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> cute little baby. La, 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 la. <laughs> We're the Star Squad smile. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to tell Daisy this huge surprise. She's going to be so excited. Daisy. Oh, Daisy. Whoa, it's dark in your room, Daisy. I'm going to turn on a light. Molly, would you please get out of my room? I'm trying to game. In the dark? Yeah, it's super fun this way. I feel like I'm really immersed in the game. Why are you in my room, by the way? Because I have a really big surprise! I don't believe you, Molly. I think it's just a lie. No, seriously, I have a really big surprise for you. I'm not even lying. I promise. Really, Molly? You have a surprise for me? What is it? Did you make cookies? Daisy, stop playing your computer. I'm going to tell you something cool. Oh, right. What is it? I talked to Mom, and she said, We can have a sleepover. Molly, we sleep over in the same house every single night. What's such a big surprise about that? No, silly. Brookie's coming over, and we're going to have a sleepover with her. OMG, that's amazing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I figured you would be. Now follow me into the kitchen. Why, Molly? I don't want to watch you eat another snack. It's all you ever do. Okay, well, I know that might be a little boring, but... Molly, I'm not watching you eat a snack. I'm not going to eat a snack, okay? I'm going to make some cookies. It's a celebration. Oh, I should make something, too, then. Oh, what should I make? Maybe some muffins or something, because I want to have variety then when Bookie's heal. Oh, she's going to love that. Yeah, she's going to love your cookies a lot, too, Molly. I hope so. They're chocolate chip. Ooh, those are my favorite. Me too. I kind of want to eat the cookie dough. Molly, don't eat the cookie dough. There's raw egg in that, you know. You'll get food poisoning. Yeah, I know. Mom always tells me don't eat the raw dough. It's gross. <laughs> Ooh, now I just got to bake them. Tell me, Molly, my food is in there. What? But, but my cookies are ready to go in. Well, maybe we can make room for your cookies too. Maybe. Okay, let's see if they'll fit. Oh, never mind. They're done. Ugh, you're taking over the entire stove. Yeah, but now they're done, so don't whine, okay? Hey, guys, what's up? Brookie! Molly, what are you doing over there? Uh, I'm watching these delicious cookies bake. Wait a minute, you're making cookies? Absolutely! You're my bestest friend. Of course I'm going to make you chocolate chip cookies. But I made you blueberry muffins. Wouldn't you like to have some of those? No, she wants chocolate chip cookies. No, she wants blueberry muffins. Cookies! Muffins, Molly. Cookies! Um, guys, I'm really hungry. I just got done working out at the gym. I'll have one of each, please. She's eating my muffin first. That means she likes me battle. No, it doesn't. It just means that my cookies aren't out of the oven yet. Ouch, ouch. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, no. Did I burn them? <laughs> Molly, you burned your cookies. Only a couple on the top, Molly. It's not a big deal. Yeah. I don't mind a burnt cookie either. If you just dip, dip them in milk, it's still delicious. Mmm. Yum. Okay, Brookie, eat one of my non-burned cookies. Okay, Molly. Ooh, these look delicious. She's gonna like my muffins battle. No, she's not. Who could that be? Everybody's here for the sleepover. Well, maybe it's a surprise guest. We aren't allowed to have a surprise guest, are we, Molly? I don't know. I only asked if Brookie could come over. Who is it? Hey, what's up? Can I come in? Uh, Sarah, what are you doing here? Oh, great. I'm so glad you opened the door. Finally, what could you be any more rude? Oh, Sarah, what are you doing here? Oh, who farted? 
Sorry, it was me. <laughs> Those blueberry muffins kind of, well, made me gassy. <laughs> it's okay, Brookie. Ugh, yucky, stinky. Ugh, so gross. Total losers. Wait a minute. What are you doing in my house? And why are you eating all my cookies? Those are for my best friend. Oh, well, I guess I'm your best friend now because these cookies are mine. Someone said you were having a sleepover and, um, well, I'm here to crash it. Who told you there was a sleepover? Oh, I think that would be Brookie, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, guys. I just mentioned that I was really excited about coming to the sleepover. I saw Sarah at the library. I I'm really sorry. Oh, Brookie! Oh, well, I guess it's going to be a party of four. Do you have anything to drink? I'm so thirsty. Uh, usually it's kind of rude to just get in someone's refrigerator. If you don't live there, that is. Oh, I just got in your refrigerator, Molly. Yeah, but you're my best friend, so okay. I don't even know what to say right now. Boy, Molly, talk about putting your foot in your mouth. <laughs> hey, don't drink all the milk. We need that for the cookies. Oh, wait. Never mind. You ate all the cookies. Okay, so what are we doing at this sleepover? Well, I thought first we could um go jump on the trampoline for a while and swing on the swings and stuff. That sounds fun, right? Yeah, I guess. Whee! Come on, guys. This is so much fun. Marley, I don't know. Maybe our guests will have fun at our sleepover. What are you talking about? I don't know. It just... I mean, Sarah's here and she's kind of rude. I'm having a great time. Don't worry about me, guys. Okay. Whee! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Blueberries make my stomach kind of crazy. <laughs> I knew you'd like the chocolate chip cookies better. I'll be right back. Uh-oh. I think Brookie had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Molly, do you think Sarah will ruin our sleepover? I don't think so, but I hope not. Speaking of Sarah, I better go check on her. Why isn't she outside? What is she doing? Oh, look at this! Molly's diary! What? Get out of there! Get off my computer right now! Okay, I gotta unplug my computer. Hey, I was using that! That is not yours! Now please go outside with everyone else at the sleepover! Fine. What a party pooper you are. OMG, Sarah. You're making me crazy. Ah, finally. Marty, is everything okay? Yeah, don't worry about a thing, Daisy. Don't worry about a thing. Okay, I'm back. I hope you feel better now, Brookie. Totally. Why did she feel good? Oh, no reason, Daisy. Don't worry about anything. She didn't like your blueberry muffins. Molly, I didn't say that. Okay, it makes her stomach upset. Really? I'm so sorry. Oh, they were delicious, Daisy. Don't worry about a thing. Molly, don't be mean. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, guys, you want to go in and watch a movie? Sure, but where's the fourth person at? You know, Sarah? I don't know. Hopefully she's not getting herself into more trouble. I just realized there's a snowman in the pool. Haha, <laughs> weird. Sarah, where are you? Sarah! Molly, where could she have gotten to? She's probably getting into trouble. I don't know. I don't see her anywhere. I'm gonna go back into the backyard and see if I can find her out there. Ugh, I wanted pizza. This party's so lame. Sarah! Get, get out of my mom's car! What are you doing? See you later. I'll be back later, loser. Sarah! O-M-G! Daisy! Molly, is everything okay? Oh my gosh. No! Sarah just took my mom's car to go get pizza! What? Does she even have a driver's license? I don't know. But, um, I think I better call my mom. What's going on, guys? Bailey colored unicorn. Molly, get out in front of the TV! We have a bigger problem than that. What is it, Molly? I mean, you standing in front of Brightly Colored Unicorn really is a problem for me. <sighs> Sarah just took Mom's car to get pizza. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm going to go call Mom. I'll be right back. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. She's going to be so mad. She's going to be so mad. Hey, Daisy. What's going on? Mom, we didn't invite Sarah to our sleepover, but she came anyway. Then she stole your car. What? Okay, I'll call the police and I'll be right home. Okay, are we all in trouble? No, Mom said that Sarah's in trouble. She's calling the police. 
Well, let's lock the door so she can't come back because I don't want her getting us in trouble. Good idea, Brookie. Now, come on, guys. Let's go watch a movie. Ooh, this looks like awesome. Molly, we've seen the brightly colored unicorn movie before. Yeah, but Brookie hasn't. Oh, Brookie, did you want to stay here? No, I kind of like to sprawl out on the floor. I'm cool. All right. Well, have you seen this movie? No, I haven't seen it before at all. It looks really good. Hey, guys, thanks for inviting me over to this sleepover. Even though my blueberry muffins made you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were still delicious, Daisy. <laughs> I'm just blueberry intolerant. Even though that Sarah came and she was, like, being crazy? Yeah, that wasn't you guys' fault. I'm still having a really great time. I want to come to your sleepover, like, every day. Well, that would mean you'd live here. Yeah, you could be our sister! O-M-G. That would be amazing! <laughs> ah! I'm gonna be late for school! And I actually did my homework, so I want credit for it, you know? <laughs> Where's my math book? Where's my math book? Oh, I can't find my math book! Okay, um, maybe I left it in the chair. No, where was I studying last night? Think, Molly, think. Oh, wait, I had to go to the bathroom. Maybe it's in the toilet. Math book! Are you down there? <laughs> Just kidding. Although sometimes I'd like to um, flush all of my school books down the toilet. No, it's not on the desk. Wait, what's that on the table? I think it's my math book! Yep, it, sh it sure is. I'm just going to pick it up, put it in my backpack, and away I go. Molly, hurry up! The bus is here! Coming! Good morning, everyone! It's good to see you here. Especially you, Molly. You're actually on time. <laughs> yeah, and I did my homework. Can you believe it? Oh, my gosh! What'd you do with Molly? Who are you? <laughs> Guys, today, mathlete tryouts are happening. I know all you mathletes would be amazing at that. Yeah, uh, more work and homework. Uh, I don't know about that. Hey, Molly. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, I sat next to you. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, I see you sat next to me. S sitting in that chair is, is nice. Oh, really? Why? Um, uh... Uh, is it because uh, I'm sitting next to you? No, 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 that's not why. <laughs> it's because you're sitting under the heat duct, and so you stay nice and toasty. Oh, <laughs> I see. Okay, class, please take out your math books. We're going to go over lesson number three. Math book, math book, math book. Wait, here it is. O-M-G. I accidentally brought my diary. All about my crush in it. Okay, I'll just put it back in my backpack and tell the teacher I forgot my math book. Did Molly just say that she brought her diary to school? <laughs> I bet there's some awesome secrets in there she doesn't want anyone to know. And that's exactly why I have to read it. <laughs> when her back's turned, I'll steal it right from her backpack. Mrs. Stevens, I forgot my math book. I'm sorry. I... I brought the wrong book with me, but I did my homework. It's okay, Molly. Do I have to have detention? No, you don't have to have detention. Really? I finally managed to not get detention. I'm super proud of myself right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Molly has a crush on Luke? <laughs> this is perfect. Dear Luke, meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Molly. <laughs> Dear Molly, meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Luke. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to prank her so good. <laughs> hey, Molly, you could share math books with me if you want. Really? Wow. Uh, Thanks, Luke. No problem. Okay, class. You guys can head off to English. I don't want you to be late. Yeah, that would be a tragedy. <laughs> Are you even paying attention? Hello? <sighs> Is she sleeping? Huh? What? Huh? Wake up! Huh? What? what I miss? Pretty much all of English class. Here, Luke wanted me to give you this letter. Really? Yeah, he said it's pretty urgent. Okay, thanks. No problem. Don't say I never did anything for you. Wow, a letter from Luke? I wonder what it says. 
dear Molly, please meet me in the auditorium after school? Love, Luke? O-M-G! I think he's gonna ask me to the school dance! Best day of my life! Okay, everyone! Class is dismissed! Wow, it's the end of the day! <laughs> Guess I need to meet Luke in the auditorium! Oh my god, there's Luke! I'm kind of nervous! He makes me feel, like, really shy, because I really have a crush on him. Hey, Molly! Oh, hi, Luke! Hey, um, so, uh, you wanted to meet me here? Wait, what? No, you wanted to meet me here! Uh, no, Molly. Um, I got your letter. <laughs> I didn't write you a letter! You wrote me a letter! No, you wrote me a letter. Sarah gave it to me. Attention, Molly and Luke. What is going on? This is Sarah, and I want you to know that <laughs> I read your diary, Molly. Ah! What? <laughs> That's right. I'm going to read you guys a little bit of what Molly said. No, Luke, cover your ears. You don't want to hear this. What? Why? And why'd you write me that letter and now you're saying you didn't? I didn't write you the letter! I'm guessing that Sarah wrote you a letter from me. And then she wrote me a letter from you. Why would she do that? Oh, I can only take a guess. Okay, here you go. Dear Diary, Luke is so cute. Huh? You wrote this, Molly? No, I, I don't know what you're talking about! This is really Molly, Diary. It's not Daisy or baby Kira. I really like Luke. He's cute. He's adorable. He's smart. He is like an amazing football player. Love, Molly. Oh my gosh! I'm humiliated! <laughs> By the way, losers, I have locked you into the school for 24 hours. <laughs> Have fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm mortified. I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe she stole my diary and read it out loud. Hey, Molly. Ah! What are you doing here? This is the girl's bathroom. Well, no one else is around and, 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 and you ran away before I could even say anything. Wow, the girl's bathroom is much bigger than the boys. OMG. Get out of here. Um, wait, I just want to tell you something. I, I like you too. Wait, what? You do? Yup, I do. I think you're cute and amazing and smart and funny, even if you don't do your homework. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, and I'm kind of glad that I'm stuck in the school with you for 24 hours. We can have, like, a first date. This is a date? Yup. If you want it to be, that is. I totally do. Aww. Maybe we should go to the cafeteria and, well, eat pizza. I love that idea. <laughs> Let's eat all the pizza so that they don't have any for lunch tomorrow. And they'll be like, where's all the pizza? And we can secretly laugh inside because we'll know the answer and they won't. Wow. Complex, Luke. Okay, let's do it. I always thought you were kind of simple, but no. Seems you have a whole plot line going here. Ooh, this pizza is delicious. Mm, it totally is. Molly, I hope that we can be the best of friends. Me too, Luke. Mm, this is really good. So, um, what do you want to do now? Uh, eat more pizza. <laughs> Duh. Molly, I never knew somebody that liked pizza as much as you. Well, we're going to eat it all so all the students wonder where it goes tomorrow. You better get eating, Luke. Um, yeah, I'm full already. <laughs> I can totally eat more pizza than you. <laughs> hey, want to go to the gym and play some basketball? Sounds like a great idea, except for I just ate all that pizza. I'll probably throw up. Nah, it'll be fun. Come on. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I forgot where the gym was for a minute. <laughs> now that pizza went to my brain. Okay. Let's see if I'm better at basketball than Luke. Um, you probably are. I'm really good at football, though. I'm not really great at football. Whoa! Good shot, Luke! I'm having so much fun right now. Me too. Um, Luke, um, we didn't think about something. What's that, Molly? Where are we gonna sleep? Um, well... Ugh. Well, I don't feel so good. Why? Oh, no. You ate too much pizza and then you jumped around playing basketball. 
Uh-oh. I don't want to throw up on our first date. That would ruin everything, wouldn't it? Um, you better run to the boys' bathroom. <laughs> I'll set up a sleeping area. Good idea, Molly. We definitely have to sleep here till the morning. Wait a minute. No students allowed. <gasps> Perfect! Yes! In the janitor's room, there's a bunk bed. I'll let Luke choose if he wants top bunk or bottom bunk. Are you feeling better, Luke? A little. I don't know why I ate all that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um, Luke, I was wondering, um, are you having fun on our date? I'm having a great time on our date. Yep. Well, I want to show you something. Uh, I'm not looking forward to sleeping on the bleachers. No, no, no. Look what I found in the janitor's room. Bunk beds! Do you want the top bunk or the bottom bunk, Luke? I'll take the bottom. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. This ladder is kind of broken. I can't climb up the ladder. Uh, uh, uh. Here, Molly, I'll take the top bunk. Are you sure, Luke? Well, if I can climb up the ladder, sure. Well, Molly, this was a great first date. I agree. But you know we're probably going to get detention tomorrow for being locked inside the school. But it wasn't our fault. We'll just tell them Sarah did it. Yeah, if they believe me. I'm always getting detention. Plus, we ate all the pizza for school tomorrow. Yeah, we might get detention about that. But at least we'll be in detention together. And, uh, Molly? Yeah, Luke? Would you like to go to the school dance with me on Friday? Um, uh, uh... It's okay if you don't want to. I would love to! Great. This 24 hours stuck in the school with you has been the best 24 hours of my life. Ditto, Luke. Ditto. Yay! Oh my gosh, finally, after four long weeks of staring at this computer! Ah, I'm so happy! What is it, Mom? You're totally freaking out! Yay! 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 I finally found a job, and it's the job of my dreams! Okay, I have a few questions about this new job. Okay, what are they? One, do they pay you money? Of course, Molly, it's a job! <laughs> I'm gonna get paid money, and I really like the job! Two, are they gonna pay you lots of money? Yes, they're gonna pay me tons of money! I'm excited, too, because we can finally go to the ice cream shop again, because you have a job and not poor anymore. Yeah, isn't it great? This job's going to be so cool. How do you know, Mom, if you've never worked there before? Molly, seriously, do not interrupt my dance party! Wow, my mom dance is so weird. Speak for yourself, Molly. I am so hip and cool. Uh-huh, yeah, sure, Mom. Keep telling yourself that. Okay, girls, time to go get ready for bed. <laughs> I have to get her up early for my new job tomorrow. But, Mom, it's still daylight out. I don't care. Time for bed. Everybody upstairs. Come on, come on. Oh, my gosh. My mom's gone crazy about this new job. <laughs> She's sending me to bed already. Well, I guess I should go to the bathroom. Wait a minute. I'm in the wrong room. Oopsie. Where am I? I'm so lost right now. Oh, wait. This is my house. I shouldn't be lost. Ah, <sighs> That's better. La, 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 la. I finally get to go to the ice cream shop. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I got a new job. I got a new job. Woohoo! Mom, are you jumping on the bed? No, not me. <laughs> Never. Wee! <laughs> Wee! My mom has gone completely insane. I just gotta um get some water in the sink so that I can brush my teeth, put on my pajamas, and it's time for bed. I wonder what new job my mom got. I forgot to ask her. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll find out in the morning. Daisy! 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 <laughs> oh, my gosh. My sister always falls asleep, like, the minute her head hits the pillow. Not me. I'm usually awake for a long time. I stare at the ceiling sometimes. Boring. Sometimes I count sheep. One, two, also boring. Then I decide to do something really crazy to my sister like this. Daisy. <laughs> what? what? What was that? It sounded like a ghost. Molly, wake up, Molly. Huh? What? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> ah, I think I might be kind of an evil sister. Where 
is everybody? Everyone knows we have math class this morning. Wait, am I, am I wrong? Did, you, did I have a different class to start out? Oh, man, I went to the wrong classroom. Oh, man, I'm going to be terrible at school forever. It was English I was supposed to go to. Oopsie. Uh, Molly, you're late. Sorry, I was actually in school, but I was over in the math room. I mean, sorry I'm late. Molly, if you're late again, she's going to keep giving you detention. I know, I didn't mean to. I, I accidentally went to the math class instead of English. Oopsie. Um, thanks for letting me go to the bathroom, Mrs. Smith. I really had to go. No problem, Daisy. Okay, Molly, take out your book, please. We're going to be reading Shakespeare today. Shakespeare? More like boring spear. Molly, that didn't even make sense. Sorry, nothing really rhymes with Shakespeare, so... Where's my book? I can't find... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I thought maybe I lost it. That would be such a tragedy. <laughs> Molly, you're being so naughty. <laughs> Sorry, this class really bores me when we read Shakespeare. Molly, shh! I'm trying to be a good student. So, Molly, um, do you want to, like, go to the park or something after school? Yeah, that sounds like so much fun! Molly, please just stop disrupting the class. You're being loud by talking to your friend. And I don't want to have to tell you again that you could get detention if you keep doing it. Okay, okay. Now open up your book again and start reading. Fine. Psst, Brookie. What we, should we do at the park? Should we go swimming or just swing on the swings? Or We should do it all, Molly. I could run home and get my bathing suit if you want. Yeah, that would be awesome. Okay, Molly, I've had enough. That's it. You have to go to the principal's office. What? But I was just talking for a second. I gave you a warning and you didn't listen. And I heard our new principal is very strict and mean. Got a new principal? What happened to Mr. Grumpmiser? What? That's not his name. Uh, yeah, that's just we all call him. Because <laughs> he was really old. Well, he retired. Oh, wow, I thought maybe he died. No, not yet, but maybe in a couple years. <laughs> he did fart a lot. <laughs> Molly, go to the principal's office. I can't deal with you today. Okay. Attention, Brookhaven High, attention. Molly is going to be going to the principal's office. Molly to the principal's office. Oh, man. Now it's time to do the walk of shame. Huh. <sighs> well, hopefully this new principal isn't too mean. Hello. It's Molly reporting for principal's duty. Go ahead. Take a seat, please. Mom? Is that you? Molly? Are you at the principal's office again? Why are you at the principal's office? Oh, God. They called you, didn't they? I'm going to get... I'm going to get in school suspension. No, Molly. This is my new job. I am the principal. Oh! Molly? Molly? Oh, no. My mom's the principal. Twice as many punishments. Oh! Molly, get up, please. You need to talk to me about what happened in the classroom. Oh, no. Have a seat, please. Okay, so, um, we were reading Shakespeare, thought it was really boring, and I was talking to Brookie. Did your teacher give you a warning? Uh, well, uh, Molly? Yeah? Oh, and you kept on doing it, disrupting the class from learning? Yeah? Okay, Molly, to the detention room. And I want you to write on the board, I will be good a million times. But Mr. Grumpmeister only made me do it one or two times. Who? Oh, man. A million times, Molly. Now get going. Fine. Oh, this is the worst ever. I will be good. I will be good. I will be good. I will be good. Oh, this is horrible. I literally can't believe my mom's the principal. She's a terrible principal. Uh, what did you just say? Huh, what? Ah, I didn't know you were behind me. You're the sneakiest principal on the planet. Molly, I think you need to write, I will be good two million times. Oh, man. Get going, Molly. I hope you don't get any hand cramps. Oh, I will be good. I will be good. I hate the principal. <laughs> oh, I better erase that before she comes back. I will be good. <laughs> what was that you just had on the board, Molly? Nothing. Um, 
principal mom person? I don't know what to call you when I'm at school. I will be good. Okay, well, keep writing, Molly. You have a long way to go. Bye, mom, principal person. Huh. Finally, I finished all those, all those writings on the board for detention. Maybe you won't do that again, will you, Molly? Okay, class. <laughs> it's almost time to go home. Attention, attention. Oh, it sounds like there's an announcement from the principal. Everyone listen up, please. Oh, this ought to be good. Mom principal is evil. Molly, how rude. Wait a minute, did you say mom principal? Daisy, mom is our principal. <laughs> yeah, right, Molly. I don't believe you, whatever. It's her new job. Seriously, Daisy, she's the principal. Wait, what? Are you being serious? Okay, everyone, I want everyone to report to the bathrooms with your toothbrushes. There is a lot of mess to clean up, and we're going to start with scrubbing the toilets. Everyone should expect to be at the school an extra two hours. What? That sounded awful a lot like Mom's voice. I'm telling you, Mom's the new principal, and she's insane. Yeah, I think she might be a really horrible principal. Stay after school for two hours to scrub the toilets with toothbrushes? Oh, no. This is the new job she was talking about, Daisy. Well, I guess we better get to the bathrooms. We need to figure out a way to get Mom fired from this job. Seriously. Oh, man. Scrubbing the toilet with my toothbrush? Gross. <laughs> Brookie, Brookie, Molly, shh, we're going to get detention if you keep talking to me. Would you two be quiet? I'm trying to understand what's going on here. Daisy, shh, Jeepers, you're bringing too much attention to us. Brookie, I have to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? But seriously, don't get us in trouble. I don't want detention. Brookie, do you want to come over for a sleepover tonight? Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. What are we going to do? We'll play some games. We'll maybe swim in my pool. Um, We'll eat popcorn and watch movies. Oh, M. G, that sounds like so much fun. Can we watch Halloween movies since it's getting so close to Halloween? Yeah, of course. We can watch Hocus Pocus, my favorite. What? Are they seriously planning a sleepover? Ugh, I never get invited to a sleepover, and I love Hocus Pocus. Did you just hear Sarah talking? Not really. She's over there in the other part of the room. She kind of talks to herself sometimes. Yeah, none of her friends are in this class, so... Excuse me, Molly, would you like to share what you have uh, to say with Brookie, with the whole class? Yeah, Molly! Oh, Daisy, you're such a teacher's pet! No, thank you, Mr. Smith! And Brookie, I'll see you uh, like an hour after school. Sounds good, Molly. It's Friday night! And I'm feeling alright, did it Friday night, and I'm feeling alright. Buddy, what has gotten into you? Oh yeah, cue some dance music here. Cue some dance music! Molly, <laughs> you look ridiculous! What have you gone crazy? Crazy for Friday night! Having a sleepover, having a sleepover. Wait, what? A sleepover? Really? Yep, and Brookie's here right about now. Brookie, I'm coming. I'm going to dance my way to the door. <laughs> Brookie, what are you doing? Oh, it's just seeing if you had a doorbell. I couldn't remember. <laughs> you just can knock. Come on in. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. My sister's dancing so bad. Hey, Daisy, are you going to be here for the sleepover, too? No, no, she's not. Yes, I am, Molly, and stop dancing and singing. You wonder why you're not invited to the sleepover. It's because you take the joy out of things, Daisy. You suck the life out of them. Molly, that's not very nice. Daisy's my friend, too. Of course I want her to be at the sleepover. Oh, fine. See, Molly, everyone loves me. You should, too. Okay, well, um, the first thing we can do is, like, turn on the movie that we want to watch. Hocus Pocus! Yeah, that's not on for another, like, 30 minutes, though. Till then, we can watch this dog smiling. <laughs> um, well, I just put my bag upstairs, so, um, we can totally chill out. Yeah, let's chill out. We could veg out. I heard my mom say that the other day. She's so 90s. Where's the sleepover? Oh, here it is. Who's in my house? Ah! Sarah, what, what are you doing here? 
I'm here for the sleepover, duh. Um, eh. Molly, you invited the bully to a sleepover? What were you thinking? I didn't invite her. Oh, that's kind of rude. Yeah, totally. You're talking about it in my class. Actually, it wasn't just your class. We were all there. And I didn't think you wanted to be our friend since you call us losers and bully us all the time. Well, I want to be at the sleepover, so I'm going to stay. Uh, uh. Brookie, should we let Sarah stay? Well, I'm not sure we really have a choice. I mean, here she is, and it's getting late, and, well, she packed a bag and everything. Uh, okay. Sarah, but no calling us a loser and no bullying us. Okay, but I can still boss you around, right? Uh, no. Oh, great. I'm glad to hear you say yes. Well, I want to play truth or dare. What? Truth or dare? Um, I think that might be a bad idea. I've heard things go very wrong with that game. Yeah, like you tell somebody a truth you didn't want them to know. Or you break a leg doing one of the dares. Yeah, we're not playing truth or dare. Yes, we are. I'm the oldest here, and I make the rules because of it. Um, uh, well, she has a point. She is the oldest, Molly. What do we do to play this game, Sarah? Is it like Jumanji? Are we all going to get sucked into this other world, and then, 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 then there's going to be elephants, and oh, my God. Uh, no, Brookie. Truth or dare is nothing like Jumanji. Oh, okay, good. But it can be dangerous. Everyone sit in a circle and be quiet. Okay, fine, bossy. And hello, who's gonna valet this bag of mine? What? Take care of your own bag, Sarah. Uh, no, I don't think so. Thanks, Daisy. Ay, ay, ay. How do I get roped into this stuff? Okay, we're all in a circle, not one. Now someone says truth or dare. Shh, I'm in charge here because I'm the oldest and I've played truth or dare before. Wow, I bet she's played spin the bottle too. Whatever, anyway. I'm going to ask whoever I want, truth or dare. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I have some questions, though. What do we say? Duh, you say either you want a truth or a dare. Ugh, just pay attention. Okay, whatever. Don't have to be so grumpy at my sleepover. Okay, Brookie, truth or dare? Um, uh, uh, truth. Perfect. Is it true? That you wrote a note once to Daisy saying how mad you were at Molly? Uh, um, well, that was like two years ago, and and, 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 and it was just a big misunderstanding, and, 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 and. What? But you're my best friend. How could you say that? <laughs> this game's going to be really fun. Sit down, Brookie. It's your turn. Molly, I didn't mean it. I, 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 I take every word back. Oh, you feel like a traitor to me. I'm, I, I'm sorry, Molly, please. Okay, fine, I guess I'll let that go. Um, Daisy, truth or dare? Um, I choose truth. Okay, um, do you like mint ice cream better or chocolate? What? That's such a lame question. Hey, it's her turn. She can ch ask whatever she wants. Um, actually, I would like chocolate better. Okay, fine, whatever. It's your turn, Daisy. Sarah. Truth or dare? Um, truth. Okay, um, why did you come to this sleepover? What? You can't ask me that. Actually, yes, you can. Because <laughs> you picked truth. And you have to tell the truth. It's part of the rules. Whatever. Okay, but this doesn't leave this room. Of course not, Sarah. We would never dream of that. I, I came to this sleepover because I was lonely. And I... Wanted to have some friends. Oh, that's sad. If you'd be nicer to us, we'd be a friend all the time. I don't want to friend you all the time. Just when my friends are out of town. Because they went to Disney without me. Ouch. <laughs> Maybe you should stop bullying them too. Anyway. Truth or dare, Molly. Um, dare. <laughs> I dare you. Jump off the balcony into the hot tub. What? That's against my parents' rules. She could get really hurt doing that. I don't care. It's a dare and you have to do it. It's okay, Daisy. I'll be fine. Only I think this is a bad idea. She could go home. What? No, I'm not. I want to be here. Okay, I'm going to do it. Molly, please don't. You don't have to take the dare. 
Actually, yes, she does, or she loses the game. Okay, here I go. Okay, guys. All right, here we go. Whoa! Molly? Oh my gosh, Molly got hurt and her head's under the water. I have to get her out. Molly, Molly. Oh my God, she's drowning. Help. I got her. I got her. Oh my gosh. Someone call 911. Truth or dare, gone wrong. Oh my God, I'm sure she'll be fine. Where's my cell phone? I've got to call 911. Oh my God, Molly, hold on. Hold on. She's fading. I think she's turning into a ghost. Molly? Molly! 911, what's your emergency? My sister took a dare and chewed the dare and she fell in the hot tub and she turned into a ghost and she's dead. Oh, well, um, then we really can't help you if she's already dead. What? You have to bring her back to life! I can't do that. Um, she's already dead. Sorry. What? They just hung up on me? Holy guacamole. Brookhaven 911 stinks. One star! Well, <laughs> this has been fun, but, um, I think I should probably go now. When do you get back here? Sarah! Oh, my gosh. Molly's a ghost. What, 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 what happened? Molly, can you hear us? Yeah, can can you hear me? I can't see her anymore, Daisy. She's really gone to the other side. You can't, Bucky? Wait a minute. I can't see you either. Molly! Molly! What? What happened to me? How come I can walk right through Daisy? Oh, my God. Did I die when I did that dare? I can walk through Brookie, too. Oh, my God. My sister died playing to the tail. <laughs> what? I died playing truth or dare? O-M-G! She is for ghosts, by the way. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our game night. Me and my friends are just chilling. Molly, do you have to lay on the back of the couch like that? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Did you fart on it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, guys, so today we're playing Exposed, and we've never played this game before, so it should be totally fun and a little bit crazy. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. Which is better, a PC, mobile, or console? Um, uh, uh, okay, I'm going to pick this because, guys, this means I can just, like, play Roblox anywhere I go. If I'm at the grocery store, playing Roblox. If I'm in study hall, playing Roblox. Oh, you would do that, Molly. You never study for any of your tests. Yeah, pretty much not. I picked a PC because it's easiest to do my homework on. Well, you guys know why I picked mobile. Um, would you pick Luke? Console, old school man. Well, I picked mobile too. That way I can call my best friend whenever I want. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, um, I'm gonna pick mobile because two people picked that. That's obviously the best answer. No, it's not, Molly. Doing your homework on your computer is best. <laughs> I win, I win. Look at my crown. I win, I win. Okay, next round. Which would you rather have? Superhuman speed or superhuman jumping? Ooh, that's hard. I would say speed. So that way, when my mom tries to catch me when I didn't do my chores, I can outrun her. <laughs> You can't give me de detention, and you can't give me um being grounded if you can't catch me. The teacher couldn't catch me. My mom couldn't catch me. Sounds like a good plan. Oh, brother Molly. You could just do your chores in your homework. Well, I picked that I would jump. Because if I could jump really high, I could go to the moon. I picked speed because I want to win, like, my track team um and, like, make them go to states. I picked jump because I'd go to the moon, too. Well, I pick speed because I don't want to do homework and I can outrun anybody. I'm picking speed. I'm picking speed. Molly, you can't win every round. Well, we'll see. Oh my gosh, I won! Yes! Because I want to jump to the moon. I want to jump to the moon. What superpower do you wish you had and why? Oh boy, Molly's is going to be ridiculous. I just know it. What are you going to put, Daisy? Um, I'm working on it. I'm thinking about it. I think I want to have like a super brain, but I'm not really sure yet. Well, I put super eating because <laughs> I'm always hungry. I put the 
thought I would be able to fly like a butterfly in the sky. I picked super farting. Because then I could win fart attack. I love that game. Oh, boy, Molly. I put mega mind powers so I could take over the world. Um, I think... Okay, I, I actually didn't vote for myself that time. Seriously, Molly? Oh, my God, I won! Oh, mega mind powers! Yeah, Daisy, you deserve that one. What's the best advice you've ever received? Um, uh, 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 um, if you didn't do your homework, say your unicorn ate it. <laughs> oh, Molly, that's pretty funny. But I'm not sure the teacher would believe you. Yeah, I have an actual unicorn, so they will believe it. <laughs> My answer is hilarious. Um, don't spit into the wind because it'll come back and it'll spit right in your face. Um, I, I, I was really trying, but I couldn't think of anything. Don't leave your bike out um, on the track because if you do, um, someone um, might steal it from you. Um, well, I'm going to say I want that one. Sorry. I know why I didn't win because I couldn't think of anything good. What? I won? Yes! But that wasn't even good. I mean, seriously, don't spit into the wind. That's so cliche. Tell an embarrassing thing you did in public. Uh, nothing really embarrasses me. Oh, yeah. Um, one time, my pants ripped when I was at school. <laughs> my booty was so hanging out. Everyone could see that I was wearing unicorn underwear. It was really embarrassing. Yeah, Molly, for you. I was laughing hysterically. That was super funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, laughing at my expense. Nice, Daisy, nice. <laughs> it was super funny. My most embarrassing moment. I was too busy laughing at Molly. Wow, Daisy, you're going to lose. I puked in the toilet at Lowe's once. <laughs> Why? I ate bad pizza. Um, uh, I don't really want to talk about my most embarrassing moment. Brookie, really? I, 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 um, uh, one time I, I farted really loud in front of a boy I liked. Oh, man. Well, I won, but that's pretty good, Brookie. You shouldn't be embarrassed about your farts, though. Farting happens. What would you change about yourself? Um... Uh, I can't think of anything. Um, okay, got it. Trying to figure out how to make my sisters do my chores. Molly, that's not something you would change about yourself. I wish I was a little bit taller. Wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was smarter. I wish that my sisters would, would do all my chores. That's what I'd change about myself. It's not even a real answer. I wish I could have a new sister. <laughs> Daisy! Oh my gosh, that's just rude. I'm voting for myself. Yeah, you would, Molly. You would. I agree. You do need a new sister, Daisy. Yeah. What? You guys would get rid of me? I'm part of this group. Just kidding, Molly. How useful would you be in a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> I would fart at them, of course. And that would make them fall over dead. Yeah, that one I could agree with you on, Molly. Your farts are toxic. <laughs> oh, that's why Molly's my bestie. Because she talks about farts and it's pretty hilarious. Every answer you've given has pretty much been about a fart. I'd rule the world so I'd be totally fine. I'd have a science experiment to cure them all. I'd be okay, I think, because I'd hang out with Daisy. I'd be totally worthless. I'd run. I'd fart at him! And that would give you guys time to escape. <laughs> I'm going to vote for Luke because I feel like his answer was, like, so honest. <laughs> Thanks, Molly. Uh, I mean, it's the truth. I, I'm not very good at, like, escaping zombie apocalypses. What? I win? I would fart at them? Yeah, that's a good answer. You guys know it. What makes you most upset? Oh, this is easy. Um, Actually, it's between this and this. <laughs> My sister and homework. Amazing sister. Yeah, right, Daisy. I don't know. I can't answer that one. No homework is so awful. Yeah, okay. Well, the worst thing for me is my sister and homework. Yeah, whatever, Molly. No chips. Chips are life. Chips are life. Doritos are my favorite. 
Um, yeah, I'm voting for Luke. That's just because you have a crush on him. No, I don't. That's not true. He's just my friend. Wait, what? You do, Molly? Um, excuse me, but we're not on a date here. This is all for us friends to hang out. Um, yeah, but, um, okay, who won that one? I didn't even see. I was too busy thinking about how Molly has a crush on me. Well, wait, wait. What's the most dangerous thing you've ever done? Um... Okay, this is cray cray. Don't do this at home, guys. I swung on the sa ceiling fan one time and I flew around like crazy. If you guys are old school Star Squad fans, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Molly, I think you got grounded for at least a month after that. Yeah, you're probably right. That was pretty insane of me. <laughs> um, well, my answer is I don't know. My answer is a burrito wait what a burrito what are you talking about okay I, I don't know what's going on but what why is the the craziest thing you ever did a burrito uh actually it was because i was really hungry and it's all i could think about uh you cut through your neighbor's yard yeah it was it was scary yeah none of those things are actually scary and daisy you're such a goody two-shoes you couldn't even think of anything oh uh, yeah she has a point there <laughs> Yes, I win again. All right, guys, one more round, and we're going to see who wins. Um, so far, I have the most points. Which weather is better, sunny or snowy? Oh, gosh. Uh, man. Uh, I'm going to pick sunny. And the reason why is because if it's sunny, it's probably summer, which means we're not in school. <laughs> Molly, I miss school so much. I mean, summer vacation, it's beautiful and all, but school? How could I ever compete with how amazing that is? Oh my gosh, my sister loves school way too much. Okay, I picked Sunny. I picked Snow, I love snowboarding. It's so much fun. Um, I picked Snow too. I love it when it's snowing out. You guys are cray cray. I pick Snow, I pick Snow, because I love school so much. Could somebody please vote for Brookie? I feel bad for her because she's only got one point. Oh, thanks, Daisy. You really should be my BFF. I win! Yes! Um, actually, I win because I have five points. Ha ha ha! Tell a scary paranormal experience. Okay, bonus round, bonus round. Um, <laughs> watch this, guys. The ghost that lives in Daisy's closet. Wait, what? What did you say, Molly? There's a ghost that lives in my closet? Are you pranking me? No, I went in there to borrow a pair of your socks because, you know, I never do my laundry. And I heard, ooh, ooh, and then I saw it. A creepy, gross a ghost that was insane. Um, guys, I'm a little afraid right now. <laughs> you should be. Molly, uh, I, I, I. No one can even answer. They're so scared by the ghost in the closet. I'm too scared. I'm just too scared right now. <laughs> okay, um, everybody vote for me then. No way, then you'll get the bonus round too. I'm voting for Luke. Won't matter. Still gonna win. Still gonna win. <laughs> Six to three to two to one. I win. Yes! Guys, thanks so much for watching us play um, Roblox Exposed. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye. What games do you guys want to play? How about, uh, I want to play Twister. No, I don't want to play Twister. Uh, I'm kind of, like, tired today. You're tired? Why? Oh, never mind. It's kind of a secret. A secret, you say, huh? Yeah, I'm just, like, really tired, and I'm just, I'm not in the mood to, like, do Twister or any game that involves me moving. Oh, okay. Well, what about Truth or Dare? Ooh, yeah, I second that. Okay, yeah, I'll play Truth or Dare. Okay, Brookie, well, you ask first. Molly, Truth or Dare? Um, Truth. Do you have a crush on Luke? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. She knows exactly what you're talking about, Buki. Look, her face is getting really red. She's really embarrassed. Molly, you have to answer the truth. Um, uh, uh, next question. Molly, it, you're going to lose the game. I don't care. I'm not answering it. Come on. I'm your best friend. You can tell me. I won't tell anyone. 
Okay, yes, I have a crush on Luke. Oh. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Don't tease me about it! <sighs> we are so never talking about this ever again. Why? You don't want to talk about your crush? Come on, Molly. Yeah, Molly. Molly and Luke sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-T. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes babies in the baby carriage. Daisy, be quiet. Okay, G plus. No need to get so mad about it. Okay, Brookie. <sighs> Truth or dare. Hmm, truth didn't work out so well with you, Molly. <laughs> I think that I'm going to pick a dare. Perfect! I dare you to let me and Daisy use her shrinking potion that she made in her science lab to go inside your brain and see what you're thinking. Especially since you said there was a secret. Wait, whoa. Daisy has a lab? Yeah, it was supposed to be a secret until Molly blah, 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 blabbed. Well... It's, it's pretty cool, Daisy. Why do you want it to be a secret? Because I don't want anyone to know I'm doing science experiments. Duh! Oh, okay. Well, um, she knows now. Um, I'm your best friend. I won't tell anybody. And um, my second question is, shrinking potion? Yeah, I made a shrinking potion. And it allows us to shrink down and go in your brain. You have to take it. You chose dare. But then you'll know everything I'm thinking. Um, not everything, but we will see some things. Are you going to lose the game, or are you going to let us go inside your brain? Huh? 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 Okay, you can use the potion and go inside my brain. Whoa, this is going to be quick, quick. I sort of just wanted to go inside Brookie's brain just so I could drink the shrinking potion. It's so delicious. Tastes like a shamrock shake from McDonald's. Well, I made it taste yummy, because who wants to drink a yucky drink? <laughs> I feel like I'm shrinking. Is anything happening yet? No, Molly, nothing. Whoa, Daisy, you're shrinking really fast. Oh, my gosh. You weren't kidding. She did shrink. Oh, my gosh. I don't know about this, guys. Just hold still. You won't feel a thing. Right, Daisy? I don't really know, actually. Whoa, this is crazy. Tell me about it, Molly. <laughs> I think it's kind of fun. Like a water slide. What are we doing up at 6 o'clock in the morning? It's not us, Molly. It's Pookie. Why is she running down the street? <sighs> Push yourself harder, Brookie. Push yourself harder. Whoa. <laughs> she seems kind of insane out right now. This is kind of cray cray. What's she doing? Um, I think she's doing some sort of workout. Where'd she go? I don't know, but... Why would she be up this early doing this? I think she might be training or something. <sighs> now she's riding a bike back. Okay, this is just insane. I wouldn't even get out of bed before like nine if I didn't have to. Okay, I can do this. Come on, I gotta beat my time. Go, go, go. She's very motivational to herself. <laughs> Where's she going, Molly? Let's follow her. Good idea. Why is she just staring at the lake like that? I don't know. <laughs> it's way too cold to go swimming today. Besides, it's only 6.30 in the morning. Brr. She's doing something. Well, she's drinking some water. Well, maybe she's just relaxing after her. Oh, my God. She's going in the water. That water is freezing. <sighs> she's trying to swim to the other side of Lake Madison. What a cuckoo. Molly, I think she might be training for the Iron Man. What is the Iron Man? I mean, I know who Iron Man is. <laughs> he wears a red suit, flies around. Molly, no, Iron Man competition. It's very, very elite. You have to be the best athlete on the planet, pretty much. Huh, wonder why Brookie wants to do that. I mean, doesn't she just want to sit around all day and eat cupcakes? I totally would. Mmm, well, these cupcakes are delicious. Mmm, I love them so much. I could eat 400 more of them. Maybe I will. <laughs> this is the life. Mm. It's so good. Cupcakes, I love you. Cupcakes. <laughs> Molly, snap out of it. Oh, my goodness. You're inside someone else's brain having a daydream about cupcakes. Holy guacamole. <laughs> cupcakes are delicious. Stop it, Molly. Stop thinking about cupcakes. <sighs> 
Well, I wonder what Brookie's doing now. It looks like she's eating something. I wonder what it is. I have to eat all this protein so I can build my muscle. So much protein. But then everyone will know my dark secret. Ooh, now we're getting to the good stuff. You mean your best friend training for a highly elite competition isn't the good stuff? No, not at all. I want to hear the dark secret. Oh, my stomach feels weird. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh! There are no words right now! Um, uh, Molly, I think I'm gonna pass out. I don't feel so good. This is your dark secret? You, you, you're, you're kidding me, right? Well, where are we? Molly, I, I think, I think, ah, I just got farted at! Ah, I landed in the toilet! Ah! Molly, I think we're inside, I'm, we're inside Bookie Cookie's worst nightmare! What, having to eat all this protein? We gotta eat all these beans, I guess. Yeah, and then what happens is she has gas in front of everybody, and she's super embarrassed. Well, I couldn't hear you. I have to go eat this giant burrito. Hey, why'd you eat that burrito? Molly, there's a bunch of people in here that are going to know she is super farty. Oh, well, I don't think that's such a bad thing. Okay, yes, it is. I'm so sorry, everyone, but I have to fart. <laughs> what? Is that Brookie? It is, Molly. She can't stop farting. Um, okay, I, I want to get out of here because... Her worst nightmare is also mine. I mean, eating all the beans and stuff is really cool and, and whatnot, but like having to like be farted at a million times, no thanks. Whoa, look at all these wedges of cheese. Is that dad? No, I think it's just someone that looks like dad. Dad wouldn't be in Bookie's brain in, in this giant fart nightmare. I don't know, dad farts a lot. And Bookie spends a lot of time at our house, so. Uh, She's probably noticed all his farting. Ooh, a stinky cabbage! Wait, can I fart in here too? Molly, do not attempt to fart in there. You would change the course of Bookie's nightmare. Maybe I'll break her free from it. Let her know that everybody farts, Brookie. Everybody farts. Everybody farts. Brookie, everybody farts. Oh, that was a stinky duty one! Sorry to do this to you. Whoa! I fart cats! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna fart this person. <laughs> See, Brookie? We all fart. Yeah, it's totally normal to fart. Even Daisy farts. No, I don't. <laughs> Just kidding. Daisy! You have butterfly farts? Of course you would. Your, par your farts would be total butterflies. Oh! Brookie farted again! It's like a horrible gas smell! Of course it is, Molly. What do you think it's supposed to be? Uh-oh. This person's back for revenge. Molly, um, maybe we should go back into the real world now. Get out of Bookie's brain. Okay, um, give us the shrink or the grow up potion. Already took the shrinking pro potion. Now we have to um drink the enlarging potion. <laughs> I farted. Uh, that's the thing, Molly. Um, I sort of spilled it. What? We're stuck in this fart nightmare forever? Daisy! 